Hey everybody, Saturday afternoon, uh, made a trip to the local beer store today and the store manager says, hey, I got something new. So he, well, he had four or five different new ones, but uh, he had finally, I'm not sure how old this is, some of the Sierra Nevada Southern Hemisphere Harvest. I know I'd had it last year and it was pretty good. I think this came out in April or May, so it's it's been out a while. It's probably got a few months on it. But uh, knowing Sierra Nevada, it's probably still a pretty darn good beer, so I figured what the heck. Got some food on the grill. I'm going to head back and uh, check on that when I'm done with this. Something hopefully spicy that will go with the rest of this. I'm definitely not going to not gonna drink this whole big bottle now. It's a, I think, what, 650 mil bottle. Good size bottle. Uh, a little bit from the website, it says our newest addition to our harvest family is Southern Hemisphere Harvest. This is the first time we know of that an American brewer has put a beer out with freshly picked hops from the Southern Hemisphere. The inaugural ale will debut in late April and will feature fresh Pacific Hallertau, New Zealand Motueka, and New Zealand Southern Cross hops. All from New Zealand. It says like our celebration ale, the fresh hops in this beer are dried right after being picked then shipped immediately to Chico for brewing so that they retain their peak aromatics and flavors. To ensure the freshest hops possible, we went to the added expense of flying these hops from New Zealand to Chico so we so we could brew them the week after they were picked. 6.7% um, ABV, 66 IBUs, just your standard uh, gold uh, Southern Sierra Nevada cap. So let me get this in the get this southern hemisphere I know I had it last year and it was darn good the 2011 let's see if the 2012 lives up to what I remember from last year get that in the glass I'm gonna get this sealed up I don't want to lose anything on this one just go back in the cooler and uh, I'll finish that the rest probably rest of that over the rest of the day so what we got here we got a nice mostly clear slightly cloudy orangish amber color got a probably a finger and a half of a really really creamy looking uh, uh, slightly eggshell slightly off-white eggshell colored head good looking good looking uh, uh, I guess this is technically considered an IPA let me give it a, a nose and see what we still have here Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm still getting those uh, fresh citrus hops. Um, almost like tangerine to me. I mean, there's a little, maybe a little piney spiciness in there. But, uh, and, and I'm, I'm getting those sweet malts. Um, citrus is almost, well, there's uh, tangerine, maybe a little pineapple, maybe a little floral hops. Getting a little biscuitiness in it, um, just a little mild uh, pininess. Good looks, good looking smelling IPA or pale ale, whatever they consider it. So, let me give it a taste. Still got a oh, still got a good good amount of uh, good amount of hoppiness in it. Um, slightly bitter. Definitely got that citrus peel in there. Good amount of sweet malt balances out fairly well. Um, slightly bitter finish um, from the hops. Slightly, slightly peppery finish. Caramel notes as well. They're in there. It's a very nicely, very ni nicely uh, balanced ale. I don't think it's quite as smooth as the. Um, the northern hemisphere or the uh, or their torpedo but it's uh, still a darn good drinking beer finish is a little sugary but a little bitter at the same time and definitely got that uh, got that uh, bitter uh, sweet uh, citrus uh, finish on it seems to be a Medium bodied, uh, got a nice, uh, strong, tingly uh, carbonation. That finish is, like I said, is dry. So, 
let me sit and let this warm up for just a few. And I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts. Hey, I'm back. It's it's only been 10 minutes or so. I've been sipping on this. Really, really enjoying it. Uh, this is a nice, you know, hop forward beer, um, which is what what it's meant to be anyway. Uh, the hops and the and them all balance each other very well. But the hops are the star, which is the way it's supposed to be. Um, even with a few months on it. Um, I'm not sure how many, four or five anyway. Still darn good beer. Um, I'm going to give the Sierra Nevada Southern Hemisphere Harvest. I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. It's still a good solid beer. It's as, it's as good as I remember it. Um, well worth picking up if you see it. It's just my, my damn store. They, you know, he thought this was something great. He, he got it and I, I tried to tell him it's been out for few months but but then he's the guy the manager of the manager of the it's uh the wine and spirit section of the local grocery store i was going to do this down by the down by the lake here i'm out here by one of the uh, local reservoirs um i figured it didn't wouldn't be a lot of people down there they've got the the beach all closed off because some guy uh, drowned here oh, a couple days ago i mean poor guy but you know that always happens. One person drowns, and then they ruin it for everybody. Um, used to be a place I'd I'd go to when I lived in Des Moines. A really nice reservoir. The the spillway from the reservoir it it gets covered with slick moss, probably six inches deep. You could stand on it, put on ski. Either people going down on skis, people going down on inner tubes. You go down, you'd slide down it just like a almost like a carnival ride. And then there was invariably some idiot to go out there drunk at two o'clock in the morning and drown himself. And then they'd shut it off for everybody, and you know, one person can ruin it for everybody. I don't know why they have the the beach closed. Yeah, the guy drowned. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. I really feel sorry for him and his family, but the the local authorities shouldn't shouldn't uh, shouldn't be uh, ruined for everybody else. But that's just a rant off on the side. But uh, Sierra Nevada Southern Hemisphere Harvest. 9 out of 10, still pretty darn good. If you see it, pick it up, give it a try. If you like nice, hoppy, pale ales, IPAs, I'm not sure exactly what this is considered. Until um, next time, everybody, cheers. Keep drinking good beer. Oh, and as I was wandering around, I got bonked on the head with a hickory nut. I'm right here under a, some nice hickory trees, so I'm going to come out here and pick up some hickory nuts later because I do like hickory. And if I see some wood down, it's a good one for good one for smoking. So I'm going to pick up some hickory too while I'm at it.